So it's an abbreviated version. It's a shortened time. The quarters are not as long and so on. And clearly with the other, other um, versions of the game, which is the regular game, there is no shooting outside of the circle. But with this, it is more exciting because we see there are shots taken outside and then there are double points. Each team must pick one quarter for their power play. And in that particular quarter, uh, the scores are doubled. It sounds like netball's response to cricket's shorter T20 format mixed in with basketball's explosive scoring via the three-point shot. All designed to speed up the game and make it more spectator friendly while allowing the players a chance to show off their shooting range. This was quite evident in the police youth club versus UDT semi-final in the Premier Division where the law enforcers trailed big 2 to 14 in the third quarter but with the benefit of the power play and double points the comeback was on as Tahira Hollingsworth took in and all in the blink of an eye that 12 point advantage was wiped off as Hollingsworth's deadly aim kicked in She was going off and UTT could do nothing to stop her and police. Not yet done, she benefited from the steal from Ronda John Davis and bingo, police led by four. They would go on to win 26-14 and cruise into the final. On the other half of the draw, Fire was taking no prisoners against Yui as they rode the hot hands of their experienced sharpshooter in Simon Morgan. Morgan had her stroke working and she helped the firefighters repel the students with a workmanlike 22-18 victory. The prize for their effort, a rematch with police, the team to beat. And the one that had beaten them earlier by a 26-24 score, something to keep in mind. So in the final, this was a chance for Fire to take revenge for that earlier loss. Bringing with confidence, police led 6-2 at the end of the first five-minute quarter. But every time they tried to get away, Fire would respond with Morgan staying hot throughout. She would tie up the scores at eight apiece with another wonder strike. Police coach Wesley Pepe Gomes not amused by his team's poor defense and it showed. But Cooper broke the tie with a bomb of her own and the fans were enjoying the display as that counted for double and just like that they were up 14 to 8. But Fire responded and came all the way back to draw level at 14. However, police responded and in the power play jumped ahead when Hollingsworth struck another beauty for the 18-16 lead to police. Cooper would help to make it 22-16 now for the law women. But Morgan would strike late for an 18-24 final score at the end of the third. Then with the scores level at 24 apiece, Hollingsworth came up with this dagger to give police the lead 26 to 24. Remember the same scoreline when they met earlier. But Fire had a crucial turnover when they could least afford it as time expired and police did it again with another two goal victory over Fire to lift the title. In the championship division final, Las Lomas gave you to see all they could handle, especially with the sharp shooting from Raquel and Ayanna Russell, the underdogs. Seen here doing battle with police showed no fear and more than held their own. But in the end, UDC had too much firepower with shooters like Dalrymple and Peters on display and they managed to eke out a slim 15 to 14 victory over Las Lomas to clinch the title. Ruskin Mark, C Sports Extra.